What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Nightmare and welcome back to another quick little guide video. I wanted to remake the older Borderlands 2 modding video for more up to date. It's been a long time since I've done this, uh, but I have gone back through and I hopefully you can polish this video off a bit more. So rather than rambling on, I'm going to get straight into it and I hope you guys find this, you know, useful and helpful. So the first thing you wanna, gonna, you're going to want to do before absolutely anything is make sure you have Java installed. There'll be a link down below that leads you directly to the Java site. You would want to download your 64 bit or your 32 bit, depending on your system. I don't know your system. I can't help you there, unfortunately. Once you've done that and confirmed that is thing that is done, restart your PC. It, it just helps. You, never, you might not have to, but it's better to, to do so just in case. Once you've done that, download the Borderland Community Mod Manager from the Nexus website. Uh, and again, the link for that will be in the description. Uh, I'm not going to send you the link to all these mods because I don't want to do that. I'm just going to, I'm literally just linking the things that you will need for this. Um, once you have downloaded BLC MM and installed it, when you launch it for the first time, you'll get this. And obviously it will be like, oh, okay, it's downloading updates and stuff like that. Click launch. And initially, I believe you may get a little pop-up window that says, um, something 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 tins now all you need to do there is literally type on your keyboard t-i-n-s don't have to type it anywhere it will just verify that and it'll allow you into the system this may happen before or after you open it i'm not 100 percent sure now once you've done that you want to set up your game files for modding which is you go to tools and then set up game files for mods this is just the way i'm doing it it's just how it's, uh, it's I'm just showing. Um, once you are here, make sure that it says hex at XBL executable is installed. Uh, I don't know if you need the array limit. I've got it installed. Same with, and then the console key. I've got mine set to F8. You can set it to whatever you want. Uh, as long as it's not conflicting with anything you have currently set. Uh, you can also enable some of these. I'm also going to do that one real quick because it's annoying. And once you've done that, that's all set up. You should now be able to open your game and you should be able to open the console. Don't need to open your game right now. If you want to, just double check. Feel free to do that. That will help you out. That may confirm. If not, I'm not 100% sure what you could do. Uh, remember this game, this only works for legitimate copies of Borderlands 2. And this is for me, This is I only know this works as Steam because I do not have it on the Epic launcher. So this is a Steam only guide for, for me. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and download your community patch again from that. You'll either get that from the GitHub or you can get it. I believe it's on the, the Nexus as well. Not 100% sure, uh, but the GitHub is the best place to find all the easy mods to get. These, remember, these are not Python mods. Python mods are an entirely different story. I will try and get a video out of them another time. But for now, this is just for the BLCMM GitHub mod. Once you've downloaded your Community Mod Manager, what you will need to do is navigate to your Borderlands 2 binaries folder. And to do that, the quickest way you can do that, open up Steam, right click Borderlands 2, manage, browse local files. That will take you to this folder and then just navigate to your binaries folder. Once you will not have a mods folder, ignore this. This is because I have Python mods installed. Once you are there, simply locate your... Uh, patch file which i have one here a plain one drag that in open up your blc mm i have two open i can close one go to file open and now in the, here you will see patch.txt open up that and boom this is now all into your uh, system these are all your options your optional fixes and whatever then like what and what and whatnot if you wish to add additional mods, you will simply click file and then import mod files. And then for me, I'm going to quickly close this and move in the Loot Midget World, which is one of my favorite mods that have been added recently. Drag that in there. Again, same place. Tool, uh, file, import mod files, Loot Midget World, open. And now that is also in there. And as you can see, this is the check that I normally do because it's fun whenever I'm doing my uh, loot midget only runs. And once you have done that, all you need to do is 
first and foremost, save. Make sure it says at the bottom here, mod saved. And then quickly open up Borderlands 2. Okay, and we are in game. So now what you want to do is you want to hit the enter key or any key. It will do all your downloading, searchable content, searching for downloadable content, create a session, everything like that. Connect to Steam if you're using Steam. Once you are in, hit your console key and make sure you see this. And then type this exactly. E-X-E-C space P with matching your capitalizations of what your patch file is called. So mine is capitalized P. So it'll be P. A T C H dot T X T. Press enter and it will freeze for a little bit. And now, if I go to just any character, um, we'll just go to this character for now because I don't know what I use this character for, but we'll do it on this one. When you go in game, if you are running the community patch, again, you don't necessarily have to run the community patch, it just helps. Pressing tab and going to your where your badass rank is located it should say at the bottom here running ucp and then whatever version of the community patch you are running and that is it that is all you need to know that is how you install mods and this as you can see clearly works for 2023 so i hope this video helped you guys and i uh, look forward to seeing you guys if you have any questions i have will also link my discord below if you need help uh, feel free to give me a message in there and I'll give you a hand as best as I can. Um, that's also where you'll find notifications about me streaming, um, any new uploads, any tweets I put out, everything you need to know about what I do in the future and what I'm doing right now will all be in there. So you'll also know about the future of upload when I possibly do the Python modding tutorial. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video did help you out and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.